Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about the blotting procedures. Blotting is a technique that can quantify a biological molecule of interest. There are four different procedures that you should know. Southern, Northern, Western, and Southwestern. You can remember them like this. Write out snow, and below it put drop. Snowdrop. Southern quantifies DNA, Northern quantifies RNA, and Western quantifies proteins. If an individual has a chance of having hereditary disease, southern blotting is useful for determining the genotype of the individual. Southern blot starts by cleaving DNA with enzymes into smaller pieces, then separating the pieces by gel electrophoresis. The gel is transferred to a filter by blotting it. Once transferred, the filter is put into an alkaline solution which denatures the DNA. Radio-labeled DNA probes that have a specific target sequence are added. If the sample contains the target DNA, it will anneal to the probe. The free probes are washed away, leaving behind only DNA hybridized to the probe. The filter is then exposed to a film that will mark where the target DNA exists. A sample that contains the DNA of interest will be marked like this. Northern blot quantifies RNA similarly to a southern blot. mRNA is electrophoresis in a gel. Transferred to a filter and hybridized with a probe that can show on a film. This is better for analyzing gene expression rather than analyzing genotype. Western blot quantifies protein by separating proteins in a gel electrophoresis, then transferring it to a membrane. Fluorescent antibodies that bind to the target protein are added, then free antibody washed away. Fluorescent parts of the film then show evidence of the target protein. Finally, southwestern blotting identifies DNA binding proteins like C-Jun and C-Fos, which are proto-oncogenic transcription factors whose unregulated activity may lead to cancer. These DNA binding proteins are subject to gel electrophoresis, then transferred to a membrane, and tagged by adding radio-labeled double-stranded DNA probes that they will bind to, so they can be visualized. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.